Hello and welcome back guys. So now in this video we will connect everything with the states. So the very first thing that we'll be doing is importing, creating a use state with something like um, value and write. Let me define it up very properly. Like I'll write text and set text. So write use state which will be a empty string. Now it will tell me that I haven't imported use state because I haven't done that. So I'm gonna import use state by doing this thing. All right. So it will automatically import the use state if I use this IntelliSense inside this code editor, which is code sandbox. Now I'm gonna add state to this particular input element. So I'm gonna write a value over here and pass in text. All right. So now if I do this thing and if I write anything over here, it will never work because we are only setting this value to this state. So now in order to manipulate it, we have to use something called on change. So inside HTML, we have something called on change. So now we have to basically write flower brackets over here and write an anonymous function inside it right and every on change element will have a parameter you can name anything that you want but for this tutorial i'm just gonna put pass in e over here all right so now i'm just gonna console log this e over here all right and right i'm just gonna write try to write something it's never gonna work all right so now what i'm gonna do is write set text all right then e dot target dot value all right i'm just gonna write this thing i'm just gonna comment line this thing because i don't know why it is just crashing this core editor if i do this thing so right now if i do this thing this will work so now what is happening over here is that I'm just setting the value that the user is writing over here to this particular state. So now it will automatically change the state of this thing and the value of this thing is updated over here. So now I'm just going to console log this e dot target dot value and let me just console log e dot target and show you. So now if I do this thing, I, as you can see over here, if I just write one line over here, all right, see it is printing this whole element that we are seeing over here. All right. So now from this target, I'm going to access this dot value. All right. If I do this thing, see whatever I'm writing over here, this thing is add, getting added over here. All right. So this was the easiest part. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me on this part. This might be confusing for a beginner, but it's it's very easy. It's like, you know, we are changed whenever something, some states change, anything that is happening to this, some anything, any change event that triggers on this particular input element, this function will run. All right. So inside this function, what I'm doing, I'm just calling this set text function, which which comes with the use state, and I'm change, I'm just assigning the value that I'm getting from this parameter. So that is how it works. Now, in next video, we will go ahead and add this functionality to this add task button. So see you all guys over there.